Storm Team forecast today starts out with peaks of sun in some spots. A couple of showers out there, mainly rain showers today, but there could be a few wet snowflakes mixed in at elevation, especially north and west of Harrisburg. For the afternoon, it's going to be windy and with temperatures in the upper 40s, it's going to make it feel quite chilly, keeping in mind our average high is closer to 60 for this time of the year. This evening, an isolated shower, brisk chilly, temperatures in the mid 40s. Tonight, we drop to the upper 30s with a little bit of clearing. It's still going to be brisk and that's going to make it feel chilly. We could have some spots with wind chills in the upper 20s. Tomorrow looks mostly cloudy, isolated shower, remaining windy. We're still not going to kick that wind just yet. Northwesterly breeze tomorrow, 15 to 25 miles per hour with highs in the lower 50s. Live right now in Lebanon, it is dry. You see some clouds. Current temperature is 40 degrees. We have 41 in Chambersburg, 43 in uh, Harrisburg, and 36 right now in Lewistown, where you've been seeing some rain snow showers this morning. Wind speed wise, they're picking up. We'll see these sustained winds out of the northwest, 15 to 25 miles per hour for the next two days. Pollen levels today. We have tree pollen at moderate. Mold spores are low. Air quality is good. And our UV index also quite low due to more cloud cover. So yes, yeah, some breaks of sun in there today, but generally mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Here's a look at our Storm Team Live Radar Network. We have that upper level low still spinning over the northeast. That's what's churning up these occasional showers. Now, I don't expect them to be as numerous as they were yesterday, but we'll still have a few showers around today and an isolated shower tomorrow. You can see that here on the predictor. Not much action, just a lot of clouds today and the wind as well. For tonight, we see some clearing, but tomorrow those clouds come back in and we have a few isolated showers with some breaks in the clouds late. How about Sunday? Still looks like a dry day, still looks like a partly sunny to mostly sunny day, uh, but we will have some midday clouds there on Sunday. So here's a look at the predictor estimated rainfall totals. On top of what you already got this week, it is not a lot. You could have a couple hundredths of an inch additionally. So let's talk about the wettest years to date. I just ran these numbers. 2024 through yesterday is in the number three spot with 15.38 inches of rain. That's nice to see because last year at this time we were running out of deficit. 10 day forecast. We have temperatures in the upper 40s today, but that's the only 40 degree reading in there. 50s for the next two days. Then we go into the 60s, could touch 70 on Tuesday, and 60s for the majority of next week. But for the eclipse weather right now, looking partly cloudy, could have some clouds at times blocking the sun, but we'll see how we do on Monday. I'm so excited.